Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Pros of the game. Ever-increasing customization. Huge content. A generous adventure mode. The most successful episode to date, Smash Bros. Ultimate is a real success. With gameplay that's as approachable as it is deep, and massive content for those who will bother to explore, this installment is also perfect for those who just want to have fun. Whether you choose to explore the story mode in order to collect all the spirits or simply to play a small match between friends, there is no doubt that you will find your happiness with this title of rare richness. Difficult to ignore one of the in this selection of fighting games. Indeed, despite their very particular style since the release of the first opus in 1999 on Nintendo 64, the games in the series are among the classics of the genre, with a very active esports scene despite a long lack of love on the part of the publisher of the game Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate deserves its place here all the more as it is the successful form of the saga. Indeed, it benefits from the years of experience of the four previous opuses, and it offers affordable gameplay without being simplistic. Finally, due to its principle of melting pot of diverse and varied heroes, it skillfully combines the strengths of Nintendo games. Thus, offers 89 playable characters, of which is the last fighter added to the Accompanied by a plethora of content, between solo game modes and multiplayer and shambles, you will not get tired of sending your friends flying out of the ring. Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Pros of the game, gargantuan content. Nice tribute to the manga. Successful story mode, fans of the work of will certainly love it, like those who enjoyed the first opuses, since it is a sequel with a strong story. The game offers quality content and enjoyable gameplay, although a little simplistic, very different from a classic, in more beautiful arenas than the other. Released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Windows in February 2016, then on Nintendo Switch in April 2020, is the direct sequel to the previous opus. Thus, the action begins during the second part of the Great Ninja War and takes place in five chapters and an extension. Several DLCs have also graced this fighting game, capable of supporting up to 8 players online, versus 1 to 2 players locally. The particularity of this title is that it offers one-on-one -on -one combat with support characters, non-playable, taking place in three-dimensional arenas. Whether you're in the story mode with boss fights or in verses, you can recreate legendary teams or shape your favorite group, whose leader you can change in the middle of battle in order to effectively combine their unique skills and obtain a technique ultimate collaborative when certain heroes are associated with each other. Mortal Kombat 11. Pros of the game. A visual slap. Rich and varied content. Successful story mode. With its gameplay renewed for the better, Mortal Kombat 11 has made the successful bet of profoundly changing its combat system. And the franchise does not skimp on the content, rich and varied, locally or online. Finally, on the graphics side, we remain on a spectacular quality which runs at 60 FPS. Unmistakable, the now 30-year-old franchise has been shining since the release of its first opus in 1992, when, with its graphics but above all, with its spectacular kills. As for the variations, we can also note that the film signed in 2021 the biggest start on the HBO Max platform. In short, we are approaching a behemoth of its kind. So back to the games, and more specifically to the latest title in the series. Mortal Kombat Thus, was released in April 2019 on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, then on Nintendo Switch, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S in July 2021, the title exceeded 12 million copies sold. It must be said that the reviews when the title was released were particularly laudatory on the part of players and the specialized press. In particular its revised combat system, clearly for the better, the large amount of content to unlock, and its successful story mode. Without forgetting what has contributed to the success of the franchise since its inception, is a visual slap. It's time for a little digression for lovers of the universe, if you like the gameplay of, and its predecessors, you'll love the franchise, Gods Among Us in April 2013, then Injustice 2 in May 2017 which transposes the same recipe with the superheroes of in a world subjected to a totalitarian regime led by Superman.
Dragon Ball Fighters. Pros of the game, the best game in the franchise. Easy to play, but not simplistic. Animation quality. To date, Dragon Ball Fighters is the best video game adaptation of Akira Toriyama's work. Superb to look at, fun to play, it is perfectly balanced, accessible to beginners, but without lacking in challenge for veterans. An unmissable pearl, even for those who do not know the universe of the Saiyans. Fans of the work of Dragon Ball will have been waiting for it for a long time, and it was in 2018 that the best fighting game based on the Dragon Ball universe was released. Available on PC, PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S and Nintendo Switch, offers an intense experience, appreciable as much for neophytes as for insiders of fighting games. Indeed, Bandai Namco's ultimate title offers an accessible combat system, with plenty of room for improvement, but not lacking in depth. And we cannot miss this detail, since it is the first thing that we notice, is incredibly beautiful, with sublime animations during the fights. And if you know little or nothing about the world of Space Warriors, don't panic. Certainly, the title contains a multitude of references to the manga, to satisfy the fans, but the uninitiated are not lost. Thus, Dragon Ball Fighters is affordable in many ways. It should be noted, finally, that the game allows you to fight in groups, 3 against 3, online. Tekken 7. Pros of the game, a demanding title for veterans, successful story mode, immersive music and sound design, demanding with the players to whom it demands concentration and precision, Tekken 7 is simply an enjoyable and addictive title. Achieving a combo provides a lot of pleasure and satisfaction, as the exercise is full-bodied, unmissable for franchise veterans. Here we are faced with a pure and hard representative of the versus fighting genre, which appeared for the first time in 1994. As always since the beginnings of the franchise, this latest opus was initially released on arcade machines, then was ported to PC and consoles in June 2017. True to its predecessors, it features 3D, partially destructible arenas. Tekken 7 offers players a multitude of playable characters, to customize, some of which are recoverable via DLC. Note that in this list, some figures come from other universes such as Akuma, Street Fighter, Geese Howard, Fatal Fury, The Terrible Negan, The Walking Dead, or even Noctis Lucis Kylum, Final Fantasy XV. It is a title rather difficult to access for neophytes of the genre. Indeed, the game successfully relies on its demanding side and always demands more technique and precision from the players who come up against it. Something to delight fans of VS fighting, but rather frustrating and discouraging for the curious. Street Fighter V Pros of the Game Good roster of varied characters. Efficient gameplay. Rich content. After a disastrous launch, Street Fighter V has caught up very well through DLC and updates allowing a welcome rebalancing of the whole. From now on, the title is a safe bet for starting out in versus fighting and simply having fun with your friends via characters, each more popular than the other. So far we've spent a lot of time on the Bandai Namco side, it's time to see what Capcom has to offer, right? But we have to be honest, with its rather meager content and its multitude of bugs, Street Fighter V did not really sell dreams when it was released in February 2016 on PC and PS4. Nevertheless, after numerous DLCs and other fixes, the title has indeed caught up to offer players a truly complete experience, with a beautiful character roster and deliciously rebalanced gameplay. It is therefore impossible not to mention the Street Fighter franchise which celebrates its 35th anniversary in 2022. Admittedly, its gameplay is overall less subtle than those of the Tekken or Mortal Kombat franchises. However, Street Fighter remains a license very appreciated by fighting game enthusiasts, even on the side of casual players. It must be said that everyone, or almost, knows the brothers-in-arms Ryu and Ken, or even Chun-Li, the first fighter of the saga. Like its predecessors, Street Fighter V is an excellent gateway for the curious who would like to take an interest in VS fighting games, then progress to rub shoulders with more demanding titles later. Guilty Gear Strive, pros of the game, dynamic gameplay, slick graphics, the music, opus of discord, 
Guilty Gear Strive took a different direction from the rest of the franchise by opening up very frankly to the general public, through a simplified gameplay. Beginners are therefore welcome. As for the veterans, they will be able to find their account there, if they give their chance at the title. Finally, there is little criticism to be made of the graphics and the music, which create an immersive and pleasant work. Head to the 22nd century and the dystopian franchise that takes place there, Guilty Gear, whose latest opus Strive was released in June 2021 on PC and PlayStation 4 or PS5. At the controls, we find Arc System Works, already behind the excellent Dragon Ball Fighters and other titles in the genre of fighting games. As usual with this saga started in 1998, the graphics are particularly licked to the point that we quickly feel like an actor in an interactive cartoon. However, on this last opus, we can regret a certain lack of visibility during the fights. Voted Best Fighting Game at the Game Awards 2021, Guilty Gear Strive is less technical than its predecessors, because its ambitions are very clear, to open up to the general public thanks to simplified gameplay. Novices will obviously appreciate, but regulars may be disappointed. In truth, fans of twisted combos to blister their fingers will just have to relearn how to play, in a different way. Finally, if the solo content is quite hollow, the online mode is very solid and is the real strength of the title. Soul Calibur V. Pros of the game, dynamic fights. Thoughtful training mode, Geralt de Riv as a guest. Not everything is perfect in this Soul Calibur V, especially in terms of the graphics or the interface, which are a bit dated. Nevertheless, in terms of gameplay, the title has managed to renew itself by managing to maintain both its accessibility for beginners, notably thanks to its training mode, and a high degree of challenge for veterans of the franchise. Let's come back to the Namco Bandai side to talk about one of the most popular VS fighting licenses in 3D, Soul Calibur. It was in October 2018 that the franchise released its final opus, Soul Calibur V, on PC and PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. Visually, the game falls a bit short of what you'd expect from a game of the genre when compared to competing titles. Nevertheless, it offers the essentials, nervous combat and a pleasant experience to become addictive, in particular thanks to a certain welcome renewal of the gameplay. Like a certain Tekken 7, Soul Calibur V draws a few guest characters from other universes, such as Geralt de Rib from The Witcher or 2B from Nier Automata. Something to interest a few curious people to skillfully introduce them to fighting games. Especially since, like several titles presented in this selection, Soul Calibur IV has the advantage of being accessible to beginners thanks to its particularly well thought out training mode. Indeed, it can accommodate novices quite comfortably, without neglecting veterans. Marvel vs. Capcom, Infinite. Pros of the game. Gameplay accessible to beginners. Really fun game system. A limited but varied roster. We are not going to lie to each other. Lovers of fighting games will probably pass their way in front of this opus which will offer them little or no challenge. But, the formula is not really intended for them. Indeed, Marvel vs. Capcom, Infinite seeks to appeal to the general public, and the title perfectly manages to make VS fighting enjoyable for beginner players. Let's end this selection with Marvel vs. Capcom, Infinite, a title that will certainly make those of you cringe who would have preferred to see the unbeatable Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 released in November 2011. However, it must be admitted, this title is perfect for beginners. So, yes, the roster is quite limited with less than 40 Marvel and Capcom characters, despite several DLCs. And yes, the available modes are not particularly inventive in addition to being quite few. Nevertheless, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite offers fun and very accessible gameplay, which makes it very easy to create sequences. Beginners will be able to try their hand at the genre with much less frustration, compared to the feeling that a more demanding title can provide. Fighting games deserve much more attention given their complexity and the technicality they require, and it is a good omen that certain titles are accessible to novices, even that they are dedicated. This is how a community grows, 